what role are you playing now in supporting and or supervising their homework? Well, we have some parents who are really overly involved, the helicopter parent. Are we enabling our child or are we supporting them? Now, what is the difference between enabling and supporting? We have to ask ourselves, which is teaching the skill and which is just helping them to get it done? So there's a book I came across. It's called Get Out of My Life, but first, could you drive me and Cheryl to the mall? They are interested in receiving your support, but yet they want to be independent. So again, they're struggling with the pull and the push of, I want you in my life, but get out. I want you at certain times, but not others. Where should they do their homework? How much support do they need? Maybe just read directions together to get started. How much supervision do they need? And do they need a body double? Well, what is a body double? And on my tips, um, my favorite tips and tools, a body double is absolutely one of my favorite. And I remember as a child, when I was studying for um, my tests, I always wanted to have somebody in the room with me, whether it just be my mom in the kitchen, her doing cooking the dinner, or, and me sitting at the kitchen table, just having somebody near me to feel accountable to, to knowing if I had a question, they weren't too far away. A body double is just having somebody in close, close proximity to assist you if, they need, if you need help. Self-advocacy. What do you do when you need help? What is the help that I actually need? Do I know? Who can I ask? Do I have a study buddy? Do I have phone numbers of kids in each of my classes? Do I have a tutor that I can call? Do I have an older sibling? What should I do before I ask for help? Is there a rule? You can come ask me for help, but first you need to try it by yourself. Then you need to call um, a homework helper and then you can come ask me as the parent. Whatever, how, whatever's gonna work for you. Preparing to do homework, it starts with a plan. What materials might you need? Where are you going to do the homework? And what time are you going to do the homework? Are you going to do homework the same time every day? Or being that our kids are so overscheduled, are we going to have them do it at different times of the day? And when? So some of the materials I am going to offer, a scratch pad, just again, like for your working memory, short term, maybe just doing a math problem on and then erasing it. I also like to have the dry erase board of the scratch pad down um, for something I call brain dumping. Brain dumping is when you have a thought in your mind that is preventing you from focusing you jot it down on this paper. For instance, I need to call this friend tonight to talk about Saturday night. Now, if you get it out of your head and onto the paper, then you don't have to think about it. You know that it's there for when you're done. You could address that situation later, but you know that it's there. So it's parking your thoughts elsewhere. My famous time timer, I love the time timer. You can buy it on Amazon, I think timetimer.com. It is in my homework tips handout that I'll be giving you. It shows the passage of time visually, that uh, pizza pie section, that red section goes down in time and you see it. A fidget, something to play with, but there's a difference between a fidget and a toy. A fidget is something to create a secondary source of stimulation not your primary source. And it's going to send off some stimulation in your body to get that dopamine going in order to help you to focus. A playlist. Do you want to create a very soothing spa-like playlist? 
Standing desks, something that we didn't have growing up. Maybe your child needs to stand. Maybe your child needs to stand in their classroom in the back of the room to learn best. These are things that we need to look for as being their ADHD detectives. Multi-section uh, binders, uh, folders, ones that are durable. I know smart folders, I'm sorry, Nikki folders or smart folders have a lot of durable plastic folders that don't get ripped up. If they're doing a long-term assignment, something that might need more than just paper and pencil. So do we have those materials in the house to start our projects? Glue sticks, water to keep ourselves hydrated and keep that brain going. Carrots, um, we don't need carrots, but something nutritious. If you know someone who is living with ADHD, it is important to do what you can to better understand ADHD and hold supportive and realistic expectations for your family member, friend, child, or student who may be living with ADHD. If you aren't already, we invite you to join Smart Course's ADHD Membership Plus Plan and gain access to dozens of masterclasses led by ADHD professionals covering various topics like the clip you just saw. This is just one more step in better understanding and caring for your child with ADHD, and every moment counts. You can learn more and sign up for our ADHD Membership Plus plan at smartcourse.io slash products. To make sure you're as prepared as you can be, hit the notification bell below. Also, join our newsletter because we love to share resources on how to help your family adjust better with ADHD, both in school and at home. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button and give it a like and let us know what you liked or would like to have seen more of in the comments. The more that people like, subscribe, hit the bell and comment, the more people will see this kind of content on YouTube. And we know that some people could really use the help. As always, we appreciate you taking the time Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.